It is massive. This is gigantic, bigger than my apartment. Good morning, we're at Hong Kong Ferry Terminal. We're about to board the ferry to Macau. Now the trip takes about 55 minutes and we have to clear immigration to board the ferry. Let's see what the process is like in 2024. Okay, getting the ticket was quite easy. We bought ours pre-booked online and you just scan the QR code and you get the ticket just like this. So here it says the price was 175 Hong Kong dollars. So that's about 40 Australian dollars or 120 ringgit or so. So now we're gonna clear the immigration departure hall. So I'll stop filming and I'll start filming again when we're on the ferry. All right, I've got my spot. We've got the window seat, very nice views. So it's a big ferry. There are lots of people. The ferry so far is very smooth. So if you get seasick, I wouldn't be too worried about it. It is a big ferry, it is very smooth. So the chances of you getting sick is quite low. They do have the sick bags in the back of the seat just in case though. Another interesting thing to know about Macau, it was a Portuguese colony. So there's a lot of Portuguese history and I can see some Portuguese writing on the ferry. So it's good to see another different culture and there's going to be a lot of historical stuff to explore. We're only here for one night, um, but we're going to make the best of it. sun's out and I got some sun on me and I could have a nap and it took about 50 minutes. So we're here at the line for the free shuttle buses. They come every 7 to 10 minutes throughout the whole day so that's super convenient. There's a whole long line of all the different buses for each of the different major hotels so it's very easy to get where you want to go. Welcome to the Venetian. This is probably the most ridiculous hotel room I've ever stayed at, but I'm not complaining. So the check-in experience was fantastic. We were greeted by Jonathan, who was an amazing check-in staff. He told us through everything to do at the hotel, everything else we could do in Macau, because we're only staying here one night. So he was very helpful and the best check-in experience I've had. We also got upgraded to the Royal Deluxe Suite, and it's also on a high floor. So let's review the hotel room. As we enter the hotel room, the first thing that you can see is that it is massive. This is gigantic. It's bigger than my apartment. Have a look at the bathroom here. Isn't this a just phenomenal entry? We've got mirrors, we've got more mirrors, and we've got a bath and a beautiful shower. Very luxurious, love this bathroom. Very spacious. Now coming out into the main area of the suite, we are greeted by a large TV and a very spacious king double bed. Now this is the suite, this is the advantage. You get this whole desk area and a second TV. So you've got two TVs, two little desks, a lounge, and this is the key, this view. So this is looking out onto the Koh Tai Strip. Now we've just arrived, this is my first impressions, but across there you can clearly see that is the Londoner. So that's a Big Ben over there and all this wraps around to be the Venetian. So the Venetian is the largest hotel on the strip. Down there we have what looks like a golf course. So there's lots to explore along here. I've settled in, I've got my boardies on and I'm off to find the pool. Now we've gone to level five and we're walking along these long corridors to get to the pool. This whole complex is absolutely massive. It says it's a 300 meter walk to get to the pool. I found the adults only pool, so I think I'll be chilling in this one and going back over here to the jacuzzi. Now how nice is this area? So there's four different pools to choose from. There's a cafe and you can get drinks here as well. Now we're in the jacuzzi 
It is very nice, no one else is here. We've got a beautiful statue behind me. So we're gonna wrap it up, go back to the room, get changed, and then head out to the local Taipa area to see some of the Portuguese history, see what we can see for the rest of today. Hey guys, so we're in Venice, Italy. Just kidding, no, we're at the shops as part of the Venetian resort. Well, it actually looks like Venice in Italy. And it's high quality. I've been to the one in the Philippines and it's just not at the same level as this one, which you would expect because this complex costs billions of dollars to build in Macau. It's definitely very impressive. The Beatles. This is a very interesting bridge. It's a bit like a human roundabout. So the cars are going round down there and we also got a good view of the Galaxy Hotel there in the distance and we can look back on the Venetian, Parisian and the Londoner. Just had a beautiful Portuguese dinner at a very nice restaurant around here. Now it's about 8.30 at night and it is bustling. So we're at the food street in Macau and it's going off. So let's explore. We're at this famous gelato shop getting some ice cream. Let's see how it tastes like and if it's worth the price. So we've got two scoops for 76 Hong Kong dollars. I got chocolate and we also got taro. So I'm gonna try both of them and see how it tastes. Okay, first I'm trying the chocolate flavor. Also came with a little cat. Mm. It's pretty good. It's a bit icier than your usual gelato, but it has a good flavor. Not too bad. Okay, chocolate's a little bit basic, so we're gonna try the taro flavor. It's also got these little chocolate beads on it, I think. Mm, the taro is excellent. So if you come here, I would get the taro or something unique. There's a melon flavor as well, the green one. Probably don't get the chocolate or the vanilla. Try something unique. Taro, very good. This is the store. It is gel Gelatina Musan Mok UK for your reference. But it's right here. When you come into the town from Kotai Strip, you'll see it straight away. First thing you see when you come in. Here we are at Galaxy Macau watching the awesome show in the lobby. Good morning from Macau, day two. The sun is out, but it's a little bit more overcast. So we're gonna go have the buffet breakfast if we can find where it is in this huge complex. And then we're gonna figure out how to get a bus to the main tourist attractions on the other islands, because we're staying on the South Kotai Strip and you can go across the bridge and go up to the north where you can see Macau Tower and a lot of the Portuguese history. So we'll try and find that out for you and show that in the rest of the vlog. So this is the breakfast hall. It's very beautiful, Italian themed. Another thing I thought to mention is that there's the Macau Pataka and there's the Hong Kong dollar. You can use both of those currencies here in Macau and they're pretty much interchangeable one to one. And you can also use both in Hong Kong, supposedly. So don't worry about the currency, just bring your Hong Kong dollars and you'll be good. Okay, I've loaded up on everything. I couldn't fit enough on my plate, but you gotta do it for the vlog. So I got the latte, we got the double omelets, we got the pastries, and we got a mix of absolutely everything on this plate. I couldn't fit everything on the plate, so I'll have to go back for round two and maybe round three. So here's a lot more of a Chinese vibe, so there's some different stuff here that I haven't had before. So I put it on the plate and I'm gonna give it a go. Let's dig in. And another important note is that the breakfast here at the Venetian in Macau is open until 1 p.m. So it's really a brunch, and that's actually after checkout time. So 1 p.m. I haven't had that before, pretty cool. 
we just got the free shuttle bus from the Venetian to the sands on the main island of Macau. So the original settlement was this area up north in Macau and where we were just staying was the Kotai Strip which is newer. So we just got off the bus and now we're going to explore the historical sites. Is the original Wind Palace Casino. We're walking quite a long way across to the ruins of Sao Paulo. It's about a 40 minute walk from where we were at the Sands Casino and the Fisherman's Wharf. We're standing right opposite Hotel Lisboa, which is this one up here. Very cool hotel, one of the original ones. And I also love whenever you can see the dichotomy of how the average person lives versus luxury. It just shows the reality of places you travel to. These are probably all motorbikes of workers and where they live. And then you have the five-star resorts right next to it. So keep that in mind wherever you travel, right? Not everyone lives the same way and it doesn't always show the reality of the places that you visit. All right, we're in the really busy area near the ruins of Sao Paulo. As you can see, it's very busy. There's definitely no shortage of tourists here, even if they're not at the hotels, at the casinos. So Macau is back, but not in the way I expected. Thank you. Let's try this freebie. Mm, it's like crispy pork skin. Okay, we got this egg waffle from Lo Wen K. It was about 30 Hong Kong dollars. Let's try it. Mm, it's crunchy and it's soft on the inside. Okay, if you're in Macau, this is a must eat. You've got to get these traditional Portuguese egg tart. You should be able to buy one for about 10 Hong Kong dollars or about two Aussie dollars, a dollar fifty US. We've done so many steps on this trip, so we burnt off all the calories from eating all this beautiful food here in Macau a lot of steps walk around walk instead of taking taxis walk when you can because this is when you see the actual how people live and the actual culture and all the different places you wouldn't see otherwise so when you've done the gates here you can walk across up in the mountains here this is the real macau it's not all hotels and casinos this is what it actually looks like there's a lot of steps in Macau, so keep that in mind. It's not the most accessible or disability friendly, to be honest. There you go. So there you go. You get full perspective of what Macau is actually like for most of the residences. And then over here, you can see the Grand Lisboa, which marks the change in Macau since legalized gambling in this region. because they're free and they run between each of the properties owned by each of the hotel owners so just research what shuttles go to where and you'll be able to get around Macau for free just using the shuttles.